Alright guys, welcome back to Who Would Win, where I talk about two characters, what would it be like if they fought, and you guys tell me in the comments below who you think would come out on top in the matchup. And today is a fight that I've been thinking about for years. This is a fight that I've wanted to talk about, but I just never got around to it, and I'm like, fuck it, let's actually do this fight. This is Kratos from God of War versus Gore the God Butcher from, of course, Marvel Comics. So two god slayers going head to head. What would that be like? Um, so let's talk about... Uh, I guess Gore first. Let's talk about Gore. Now, Gore the God's God Butcher uh, is a villain, a Thor villain, who essentially he was robbed of his world by his his whole universe was wrecked by gods. Um, well, not universe, I should say. His planet was kind of wrecked, and he kind of blames the gods for it. And it's a whole thing. Jason Aaron's opening story arc with with the God Butcher is really cool. Now. Gore is a villain that has a scientific mind. He's incredibly intelligent, but he's also incredibly powerful. Mostly in due to the fact that he carries the Necro Sword. The Necro Sword is a piece of Null, the the god of the symbiotes and the first being in the universe. A being so powerful that he decapitated a he used that same sword to decapitate a celestial in one hit and then create symbiotes out of the brain. So it is kind of, he is kind of connected to symbiotes. He's also got a loose connection to Null, which I'm surprised they haven't really touched on the whole gore and Null connection, because now they're saying that the Necro Sword is a piece of Null. It's a whole thing. But the Necro Sword can form into a multitude of weaponry, um, and it is capable to kill gods. It is a, like I said, it one-hit KO to Celestial. So, and they're more powerful than gods. So, with that weapon alone, he managed to take on Thor, and it, it, to show how powerful Gore was, it took Thor, his past, present, and future self, three versions of him from the timeline, to slow Gore down. And he's still alive, and is now ready to face King Thor in a final battle. Um, that's a whole thing in Jason Aaron's run, but I digress. Anywho, moving on. Uh, Gore is a, like I said, incredibly intelligent, he's also incredibly strong, he's god-level strength, and he's killed a multitude of pantheons by himself. He has slaughtered m a massive amount of pantheons from across the cosmos. Not, uh, not so much gods here, although he has got a few gods to his name on Earth, he's actually slain a whole pantheon of gods from across the cosmos. Um... And then you have, on the other end of the spectrum, Kratos, the god of war, the demigod who killed Ares, took his place, and then found out, oh, he's, this, he's a bastard child of Zeus. Surprise. Because Zeus can't keep it in his pants for one fucking second. And, yeah, Kratos then proceeded to kill the, Gr the Greek pantheon, and then most of the Norse pantheon in the next god of war series. So... Kratos carries a multitude of weapons, and if you're wondering what timeline Kratos I'm using here, this is Kratos in his prime. This is uh, Kratos in his, like, his A-game. Not like old man axe-wielding Kratos, but still. So yeah, the, cha the, the Blades of Olympus, the, uh, the Sword of Olympus, the, uh, his swords, of course, the, um, that are chained to him. We also have um, the, the Fist, the Nemer and Kestris, I believe they're called. The speed of Hermes. He's got a multitude of weapons um, that he can switch from in and out of. But like I said, and Gore, you may be thinking, oh well, Kratos has the has the edge. He's got more weaponry. But the Necro Sword, like I said, is all Gore needs. The Necro Sword can so form itself into whatever Gore needs. He can literally uh, change in, into any kind of weaponry he needs. And remember that thing, he, yeah, Gore doesn't need a multitude, he doesn't need an arsenal, he just needs the one weapon to kill gods, and he's been doing a really good job at it. So, let's talk about this fight. Both Gore and Kratos are total god slay, you know, they've earned their titles of god killers. But the thing is, you have to look at is that Kratos operates on rage. He operates, he is not so much a thinker, so much as he is, I am going to kill every fucking thing I see and kill it until it's dead. There's no real follow through. In fact, when he was killing all the Greek gods, he didn't have the follow through to go like, oh, this may blow up the planet. Oh, shit, it, it, it kind of wrecked the planet for a while. Well, fuck. 
Gore, on the other hand, was a scient he is a scientist. He is a very intelligent person. He kind of figured that fighting the gods would be kind of uh, dangerous, but he took it as a scientific challenge. So that's a, you know that's a main thing you have to look at is that Gore is a scientist while Kratos was a soldier. So Lod, you know, and Kratos follows on rage mostly. Now Kratos can take a ridiculous amount of pain, but he's not so much immortal. He can be killed. Gore, on the other hand, Gore's a goddamn immortal. It took three versions of Thor to slow him down, um, and he still came back. So that's the big thing you have to look at with these um, with these two. Now, I'm not saying that Gore's probably, you know, Gore's the victor here by a long shot. Kratos has overcome the odds. When you look at, you know, the graveyards he has filled of gods, it's 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 a show that he is he's got a high t he's got high durability he is also got that mass amount of weaponry um but on the other hand you have um you have gore and he's got more gods to his name on his kill count way more than kratos but kratos is a stubborn son of a bitch to kill so this is a tough one you guys so i'm gonna leave it up to you if you think Kratos would win, put hashtag Kratos wins and list off the reasons why you think Kratos would come out on top. But if you think Gore would win, put hashtag Gore wins and list off the reasons why you think uh, he would come out on top in this matchup. These two are very powerful. Both of them have a have dangerous amount of weapons to them. This is a tough one. So, yeah, like I said, this is one that's been kind of building in my head since I was re since I read the God Butcher arc in Thor. So this is one that's always been on my mind, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys have thought of it too. But once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.